Welcome to 30 Day Reviews. I'm Justin and today we're talking about sebaceous cysts. Now don't worry, I'm not gonna be showing you guys any nasty gross pictures, but usually on this channel I use products for 30 days or more and give you guys a full honest review. So why am I doing this instead? Well, because honestly, due to bad planning on my part, I didn't have a product to share with you guys today. And it's something that I dealt with this week, so I decided that I would go ahead and share you guys my little story. I get a thing that is called sebaceous cysts. And gentlemen, we usually get these about 50% more than the ladies do. So I think that this does have to do with our health as well as our grooming techniques. Because let me tell you what, if you get a sebaceous cyst, there's a good chance that you're gonna end up cutting it while you're shaving. The majority of the sebaceous cysts, according to my doctor that he removes, are usually on the head and the neck. However, through doing a little bit of research, I found out that you can get sebaceous cysts just about anywhere, but it's most common the head, the neck, and the back. Now before I get too far into this, let's go ahead and take a look at what actually causes the sebaceous cyst. So your skin has several layers. You've got the part of the skin that you see, you've got the sebum, the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis at the very bottom. Within those layers, you have the hair follicle and the root. Now around each hair, you have what's called a sebaceous gland. And what that gland does is it actually makes the oil that coats your skin and your hair, which as we all know, is a good thing. Well, what happens is if that gets blocked or more commonly, it gets damaged somehow. Like for instance, if you're shaving and you cut it, that could damage it you end up with an issue where the oil has nowhere to go and it just kind of makes itself this little capsule that it puts all of the oils and stuff into that slowly grows over time. So this week I went into the doctor to get two sebaceous cysts removed. I had one on each side of my head. The one on my right side was quite a bit larger than the one on my left. Now the best time to get these removed is right around when they're about the size of a pea. And that is just because it's easier for the doctor to get to, to be able to see what is what when he's in there removing it. So my big one was about that size, so I decided to go in and have them both removed. Now what I found out over the time of having four of these is that when they're really small, they're not much of an issue. When they start getting a little bigger, you can end up cutting yourself a little bit on them and then once they get big enough, your blade usually just kind of goes right over it with no real issue whatsoever. However, once it gets to that size, you tend to be a little self-conscious about it. Well, at least I am. Now, what are your options? Well, you can go and have them cut out, you can have them drained, or you can have them drained and then have the sack that it's kind of contained in removed about a week later. Now this isn't a surgery like you might think that it is because honestly, they do it right in the little doctor's office. And there's not really much pain to it. The only pain that there is is when they are actually putting in the local anesthetic because that has a little bit of a sting but it's not even really that bad. And the rest of it usually goes pretty easily. Now for my big one, they just cut right over it and were able to kind of get underneath it, pop it right out of there, cut off any of the tissue underneath that was still connected and sewed it right back up. However, the little one ended up being a little bit more of an issue and they ended up having to cut away and drain it and then they had to cut away that little sack that was left over. So that one took about five minutes for them to do. And when it's all said and done with, I'm just left with a couple of uh, stitches in my head for the next 10 days. And then I can go right back to shaving without worrying about any bumps. I don't need to worry about people looking at it when I'm in the supermarket or out and about. So now why do I think that you guys needed to know about this? Because honestly, before I went and got my first two removed, I thought that it was a pretty big issue and I was kind of worried about it and stuff. And guys, it's really nothing to have done. A lot of insurances will cover it because it can end up being a issue later on once they get big enough and actually get infected as well. And you definitely don't want that. 
So gentlemen, this is why I went under the knife to get a better shave and to help myself feel better and a lot less self-conscious. And so therefore, I think that if you've got any that are making you self-conscious or that are getting to the point of uh, that you're cutting them, I highly suggest going to your doctor, talking to your doctor, seeing what he thinks, and having them removed as soon as you can. If you like this information, please give me a big thumbs up down below. Let me know down in the comments section if you've had sebaceous cysts removed before or what your last surgery was. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so that you're notified whenever I put out more content. Until next time, you have a good one.